Hi everyone, welcome back to Hubble TV. Scientists have issued a warning that an asteroid called Apophis is accelerating on its way towards Earth. This is a rather large asteroid, and according to calculations, it could hit our Earth by 2068. This collision, when happens, will have the destructive power equivalent of 880 million tons of TNT explosives. If Apophis hits the Earth, it will become a global disaster. So what is the truth about this story? And what is the percentage of this asteroid plunging into Earth? All these questions will be explained right now. We hope you will enjoy this video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to support Hubble TV. Now, let's explore. Earth, the only planet in the universe known to support lives as of now, is facing an increasing number of threats. These threats include natural disasters, epidemics, and potential threats from space. They could be uninvited guests wandering in space like meteors, comets, or asteroids with orbits near Earth. These objects will cause considerable damage, even wipe out life on Earth if they are large enough and rush into the Earth. Recently, on October 28, 2020, Astronomers at the University of Hawaii confirmed the asteroid Apophis is accelerating as it moves towards the Earth and is likely to collide with the Earth by 2068. Right after this warning was issued, it attracted a lot of attention from the scientific community. Apophis is an asteroid in the solar system, first discovered on June 19, 2004. Since then, astronomers have been trying to predict the dangers it could bring. They named it Apophis after a figure in Greek mythology, the Lord of Evil. Astronomers used the name of this character to call the ominous asteroid. This is considered a warning about the death and danger that Apophis can bring to the Earth. According to preliminary information, this is an asteroid about 370 meters in diameter, equal to about 3 football fields. Its mass is about 6.1 times 10 to the power of 10 kilograms, or about 61 million tons. This is a large object. If the asteroid unfortunately hit the Earth, the impact would be equivalent to 880 million tons of TNT detonated at the same time. Then, it will become a disaster for our Earth. Scientists estimate that on average every 80,000 years, the Earth would be affected by an asteroid of the same size as Apophis. From observations made in early 2020 by the Subaru Telescope located on the island of Hawaii, scientists have warned that the collision could happen on April 12, 2068. Through the recorded images, they noticed that Apophis was speeding towards the Earth. Experts call this acceleration the Joukowsky effect which occurs when the asteroid collects heat from the sun and releases it, creating something like a small propulsion engine, causing the asteroid to accelerate out of its orbit and closer to the Earth. An astronomer said the new observations they obtained with the Subaru telescope in early 2020 were good enough to reveal a Pelvis Joukowsky acceleration. They also show that the asteroid is drifting 170 meters out of its orbit every year. This is enough to sustain a scenario of collision by 2068. Before discovering this, scientists thought this collision could not happen at all. A Apophis' closest approach to Earth is expected to take place on April 13, 2029, when the asteroid comes close to Earth at 31,000 kilometers, too close in space distance. This is equal to five times the Earth's radius and one-tenth the distance from the Earth to the Moon. It will be the closest asteroid to Earth in history. On that day, with an apparent magnitude of 3.1, Apophis could be seen with the naked eye in the night sky. Then, by 2036, Apophis will also approach the Earth once more. 
but the probability of it hitting the Earth has been rejected. But the newly published findings show that the asteroid is likely to crush into the Earth by 2068. The scientists calculated that the collision rate is 1 over 150,000. This might seem pretty low, but considering it in astronomy, it is a level of warning because this is a very dangerous object. The team assumed that if on April the 12th, 2068, it crushes into Earth, the impacted area could be somewhere on European territory. UFO researcher Michael Horn stated that if the Earth collides with this giant object, the consequences are extremely dire. Of course, the scientists with the most advanced equipment available will not watch Apophis balancedly destroy the Earth. NASA said that if an object is large enough and has an orbit straight into the Earth, they can use several tactics to prevent the collision. One of the suggested techniques is to deflect the asteroid. NASA will launch nuclear weapons and explode close to the asteroid surface. The high-speed neutrons from the explosion will project a shell of matter on the opposite surface. The material of this layer will expand and be blown away. This will create a shock force with the asteroid. While this shock would cause only a very small change in velocity, perhaps only a few millimeters per second, if the asteroid had been traveling for a few years, it would only go past the Earth. However, to apply the above method, scientists need to have a preventive plan a few years in advance. This seems quite difficult because there are a lot of asteroids that scientists only discovered a few hours before they passed through the Earth. Therefore, this approach does not appear to be applicable to asteroids that are difficult to detect but would be suitable for large ones that are orbiting very far away from us. With asteroids discovered a year before they are plunging into the Earth, perhaps our only option is to bombard them. With Apophis, thankfully, scientists discovered its threat 48 years prior. A scenario dealing with Apophis has been mapped out. When the asteroid is 5 years from Earth, before passing through the gravitational keyhole of the Earth, scientists will launch two tracking satellites to follow it. Then we'll be able to calculate the collision parameters. If the asteroid plunges into the Earth, the two satellites will fly behind it to apply a force to it and change direction so that it will not hit the Earth. But if there is only one year left before the asteroid crosses the Earth's gravitational keyhole, we will have no chance to deflect it at all. The only option will be to use rockets to bombard the asteroid. With the current science, aiming at a large asteroid is not too difficult. But this approach has many risks for the Earth, because small debris will still plunge into our planet, causing meteor showers. At this point, people can only pray that the debris will burn out in the atmosphere before colliding with our Earth. NASA also predicted that an asteroid will fly past the Earth one day before the U.S. presidential election. Accordingly, NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Research believes that the asteroid 2018 VP1 will fly past the sky on November 2, 2020, because it was reported to fly past the Earth right before the U.S. presidential election day. It has received special attention from NASA and the scientific community. This asteroid was first observed and discovered in 2018, but it is not on the list of potentially dangerous objects because it is only about 2 meters in diameter, equivalent to just a small car. As for Apophis, hopefully it won't plunge into the Earth. We still have about 48 years for a thorough examination and assessment of this asteroid. Let's hope that even in the worst case scenario, when the asteroid is in a direct orbit towards the Earth, scientists will be able to deflect it. What do you guys think about this? Will this asteroid plunge into our Earth at all? 
please leave your comments under the video to share with everyone. So today, we've learned about the threat that Apophis poses to Earth in 2068. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And here are some other videos you will like. Please click to watch more.